This conference will now be recorded. And all the dear participants and all the faculty members who have joined here, Jai Ho Jai Ma'am. So I welcome every one of you. I welcome all. Now I request uh, yeah. uh, Dr. Tamil Chalvi Ma'am to inaugurate this event. Okay. Thanks, Lakshmi. Uh, good afternoon, all. And uh, on the previous uh, program itself, uh, I welcome you all, the students, for that one week training. And now I would like to welcome you for this uh, webinar that is various avenue for placement. And uh, on behalf of our department and our organizers, Dr. P. Vishwarani, Madam, and uh, Dan Lakshmi, Madam, and uh, the students' part, I would like to welcome our chief speaker today, Muthu Kumar. He is the data scientist at Google. And uh, already he came to the college and he has given a very nice session to the students. And uh, I hope that you will be having a very interactive session with him. And he will give a lot of uh, guidelines for you in this uh, lockdown period. And you utilize this opportunity and you have to gain the better guidelines from him. And uh, I would like to welcome Muthu Kumar for this session. Yeah, On behalf yeah. of his uh, busy schedule, he accepted our uh, invitation to present a session for you people in order to give the guidelines. Welcome Muthu Kumar. And I would yeah. like to thank our organizers for organizing this kind of uh, event for our uh, students. Now I'm handing over the session to the organizers. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Ma uh, now I request uh, Dr. P. Usharani, ma'am, to uh, introduce the guest. Good afternoon to HOD, madam, Nanalakshmi, madam, and uh, Dr. Jayodhya, and today's chief guest, uh, Mr. Muthu Kumar, data scientist to Google, and uh, dear students, very good afternoon to all. I welcome you all for the webinar session, various avenues for placement, which will be handled by Mr. Muthu Kumar. First of all, I thank uh, it's my pleasure to welcome Mr. Muthu Kumar for accepting our invitation to conduct the webinar session today. Thank you very much, Muthu Kumar. And on behalf of our below chairman, sir, uh, management people, principal, sir, and HOD, madam, faculty members, uh, we wholeheartedly well, thanks and welcome all the students and Muthu Kumar, our chief guest, today's session. Mr. Muthu Kumar has completed his UG degree in our college, passed out 2017, and he got uh, order placement order from Inatex, which is the very group of company of BNY Mellon Technology, which is a 234 years company. After six months, he got a chance to go for interview in Google Hyderabad. He had completed Coursera courses. Meanwhile, framework machine learning, deep learning. And uh, he was first hired for intern for six months period. Then during his first six, two months, it, based on his performance, he got uh, recru recruited in the position of data scientist. So he worked for 12 hours uh, per day at that time. For the same time, he got an offer from BNI Mellon Technology to join as senior developer at UK but he preferred uh, working at Google. So we have an uh, eminent uh, person who was working at Google. I welcome Mr. Muthu Kumar. Uh, the students kindly utilize the session uh, for your placement uh, work. I welcome one and all present here. I request sure. Mr. Muthu Kumar to take, the, to take over the session. Yeah, sure. Thank you, ma'am. Muthu Kumar, uh, you can take over the session. Yeah, yeah, ma'am. Muthu Kumar? Yes. Ah, yes. Uh, yeah. Good afternoon, ma. Good afternoon, ma. This is Jayavadaya. Yes, ma'am. Uh, really, I am very happy to invite you for this webinar. Uh, definitely, our students will make good for use of your presentation. Once again, I welcome you on behalf of third year coordinator. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Jayodhya. Thanks, ma'am. Thanks, ma'am. Yeah. So, good afternoon, guys.
so actually this is uh, just a formal session like the same thing what i have did last year uh, last year i visited the college during the same time june first week or second week uh, for the third year batch i'm doing the same thing see first of all you guys have a, a different kind of complexity because next time you will be going for the interview and so on so things okay first thing is what i'm going to tell is first be relaxed yourself first before going to interview or before doing anything first you need to analyze yourself because whatever you analyze yourself is going to create a path for you some will do engineering for their patient some might do for compulsion some might do with some forcing but you have to be clear as far as now the current world scenario is that due to lockdown there is a severe competition in jobs right now because all the shares and all the things are going down so what i suggest is you have to first make sure that your ideas and things are going to go constant see always be positive see whatever thing is going to happen it's it will happen but my consideration is your next see you guys are in now third years this lockdown period might be still more at least for three months i don't know exactly how much time it is going to be there but what you can do is you can utilize these three months see you are at home you are not you guys are not going to travel outside okay so mainly you are, if your guys are at home if you spend at least five hours or six hours in any what you call courses or through web sections right apart from this if you have at least five years of something some course that you want to learn either in product domain or in cs domain i it's up to you okay so you will be able to learn things easily and nowadays everything is computerized that means like everything you can get from your room you no need to go outside and learn so everything is in the web that's the first thing so my first slide is like find and know yourself means like what to what i'm going to tell is first you have to you guys have to analyze yourself before going to interview or before going for placement the first step is that you have to unlearn everything and relearn everything in a process manner what do you mean by unlearn everything you know that i know this you, some people have thought that I know this, I know this, but my thing is like, okay, even though if you know this, start what you call, start beginning from the scratch that I don't know anything and just go and read every thing. If you're going for product companies, my suggestion is that you need to be strong in the basic domains of your core. If you're going for computer science and other domain, you need to have a basic, no, a basic strong knowledge in computer oriented programs. That is the basic concepts basic operators and basic things if you are going for electricity you need to know basic laws what are the base see in interview they won't ask you how to construct a grid system how to consider they will ask very very small questions like what this ohm's law but that which is there is they will see how you are answering how you have studied and how you have analyzed the issues that's what the company is actually hiring for because after engineering if you go for a job it is completely different to mine where you will learn a lot of things in a period of three months they provide so nothing to worry in about it but what you are going to do for play uh, for interview is you need to learn a lot of basics rather than advance advance is what you learn when you enter into an office not at a college level mm -hmm. college level what you guys need to do is you have to have the basics at, a, at your fingertips if someone asks even at the at the time of sleep you need to get up and answer the basics right because the basics is the fundament foundation of your career that's what i suggest next see if you want to achieve success see success is a simple world that everyone can tell but in order to achieve the success there is a lot of procedure like there is a set of formulated pattern you have to follow see success is not a uh, ending step it is just a reward for whatever hard work you have done so once you achieve success also what i suggest is don't stop working it is just a reward i have done for eight hours of work there is a small break and again i am going to do this so for that what is the basic thing you need to know is everyone has to analyze 
your own self and find the passion like which field you are interested for example uh, when i am doing my college i have a friend named bharat watch okay he just told me that i am very good at logical skills and he suggested me to learn uh, programming that's why i am able to reach this level so i can't forget him because he is the one who just identified what is my key area so yeah, as a friends if your guys are discussing right there will be someone will be telling you are good at that so obviously you need to analyze am i really good at that so once if you start realizing that then your passion will be oh. then you can easily identify your passion if you identify your passion then the question is you should always ask a question why in whatever if you are learning something or if someone is teaching something if you don't understand why why is a common thing that why i have to do this or why what is the what is the actual complication of this why is a big keyword in an industry because unless you ask questions you can't learn anything so questions are one of the most important questionnaire is one of the most important part of learning so if something in a college or some professors are teaching what i mainly tell you guys is after this or a lecture whatever you have doubts you can either ask it in a class or go to their uh, cabins or ping uh, them or mail them like uh, why this is happening why you, what will happen if this instead of you doing this if you can bypass this so there is a lot of things that can make Uh, you understand the basic knowledge in a course next what the after asking the why you have to write out your plan like plan means like for a week if you are, for a week is seven days right so what is the plan or agenda for the seven days first plan for seven days if you are able to plan for seven days and if you are able to follow this then plan for next 14 days why i'm telling is like this is plan means rewards like just put a, a normal excel sheet in your laptop or anything you as you wish and just tell today my agenda is this much hours i need to work this much hour this much hour i need to spend time on learning this much hour i need to implement things whatever i learned either by um, practicality or you can use by computer automated softwares so why i am telling is this is plan planning is very much important in college days unless you plan you can never succeed because plan is like if you are able to create a project you can create a project like uh, i want to do uh, this kind of stuff but uh, you, you will tell i will create ma'am this kind of stuff in within a few years or a few months but actual thing is unless you draft a plan you can't do it that's why planning is very much important so what i tell you guys is just plan for first you guys plan for seven days for seven days i have to do this i have to do this once i have done seven days exactly right then you just fix a reward that is success once you have done seven days correctly then you fix some good reward like i will watch movie for two hours or i will eat i will go out with friends and eat so what it i indicates you or in cultivates you is an habit so this habit is actually a very good habit like if i want to work in a team if i am practicing daily 12 hours i am learning i am implementing after doing everything if i am very good if i am success then i will go out with friends for two hours otherwise what i will do i won't then i will even work harder so whatever you think is you need to plan accordingly see whatever i am telling it's very simple but it while practicing you will feel a lot of difficulties like stress you won't be able to work according to it or what you call it, you won't be able to follow the plan then you will you uh, what do you think is okay one day i will sacrifice the next day uh, i will postpone the work first the first negativity is don't postpone anything if you want to do it today just do it today if you guys postpone the things what will happen is first day i will tell i will postpone the things to tomorrow what happens the next day is tomorrow okay i have yesterday i didn't do today i won't okay maybe tomorrow i will do like this if we can't keeping postponing the things what happens on the 365 days you will have a pile of things to do at the end you will be stressed and you won't be able to do, present yourself any even in the exam or in the interview that's where the stress comes so once you start postponing the things a day 
or however then what uh, in, in, initially happens is you are actually building a stress so stress leads to problems so in order to solve problems what you need to do you need to plan things rightly work according to it and stick with it if you are able to follow all this you might you will be easily successful in life guys see failure and success is not just a big difference failure every, i say 100% true is every person in the world will place a period of failure okay this period of failure is just a thing for him to learn what mistakes he have done and what mistakes he have committed and what mistake he should not do in the near future if this happens in the life then in the period of next future you won't have the same issue the issue actually is in your mindset not in your your mindset how you in cultivate your mindset or how you probably get your mindset is a main important period in the um, during the placement see one company you might get in other company you might be rejected or something they will be telling but at the end you should know that okay i have done everything good in this uh, company then what you are uh, indulgent is okay i have confidence that if i go for next company i can easily crack it so like that confidence you can build on see cracking an interview is not a big issue the thing is how much you know the basic it's going to create a huge step when you are going for core product companies so now the current market trends what i'm going to now speak is what is the current market trends in the uh, world see what is in 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 i am talking about computer science now okay just a slide for computer science who are interested in computer science and programming see guys now the main topic is ai artificial intelligence is just taking a huge step in the cloud like cloud how it happened in the period of 2011 to 2018 right now ai machine learning and data analytics are the huge thing which are being, being popular all over the world and oftenly the gaming nowadays what's happening is a new new games and new new gaming technologies and new games are being coming so what is going to happen is now all over the world many companies are recruiting the gaming developers for gaming developers see you uh, you just need to have only four qual you need to be good at coding you need to learn you need to know basic physics basic uh, kinds basic kinds of quantum analysis and last you need to have the process of incultivating new ideas so how this all comes is like practice so this is the new current market trends for this what you have to have is skills skills means what is the basics the basics in every subject you learn or basic in whatever passion you want to learn is a important future in the current process and next patience and confidence guys once you, if someone tells that i know this but i'm not getting recruited into this company then you need to have, have some confidence and patience because a time will come see it won't come in a um, day it won't come in a week it will come in few months or few years it depends upon your time and thing so patience and confidence is also very much important in the current world guys because if you have patience and confidence with skills you will definitely get a uh, reach in very good product companies because if you know the basics right then what you will guys will do is you will go and do for advanced research you will guys go and do you know, what you call paper works projects and you can also do simulated projects now because everything is available as a software thing for triple so you can instead of doing practically you can use Uh, you can use your innovative ideas for simulated program so you can use okay if i do this what will happen so if i do this what will happen if you are using the simulated tools the main thing you learn is okay if you do like this this is a problem that will happen so instead of wasting the time on the practically if you do in simulation the main concept you are saving the resources at the same time you are learning every new things like if i do think sometimes if you do wrong connection earth will happen some short circuit will happen in simulation but it will be either simulation not in practicality what happens if we do in practical the resources will get lost uh, the materials will be burn and lot of things will be coming instead of that if you do simulation what's the main process is you can learn a lot of thing in simulation especially for triple e that is matlab which is one of the best software still now so if you guys use matlab to the core you can easily what do you get you can easily learn lot of circuit knowledge 
see matlab there are two types of matlab guys one is simulation simulation is like uh, what you do if you drag what you can even do a uh, cyclo converter as a simulation and just determine the graph and you can also increase the efficiency you can also increases the norm factor of everything at the same time if you go for circuit you can always build a circuit and test what is the outcome of the resulting circuit so then you can just inculcate a new what you tell what is the current latest trend in latest papers like i to believe is there right guys so what i suggest you, you can go to i to believe you can just see what are the circuit they have made you can just read all the circuit in your system then what you see is then you just simulate the circuit then you analyze what is the graph that you get then what you do is based upon your ideas you can change the value of resistors or you can even change the value or you can add a new component or you can bypass a new component and check to it such that whether something is improving if one little at least 0.01% if it is increasing it is a new invention by you and it is called as a new creation for it so you can even apply for it it's not a big issue guys so every everyone have your system at home right and there are uh, see what is this is if you see my see matlab is some of free of cost or if it is a few cost no problem in spending that because it, it is going to create a huge opportunity for triple e guys because matlab is one of the best tool i have ever used in college and in matlab also see if someone wants to know feel that if you are very good at coding you just form a team of three or four guys what you do one will be very good at coding one will be very good at formulating things one will be very good at what you called ah uh, one will be very good at um, core knowledge of building what circuits you need to make and other one will be giving ideas if you have good team right you can create own projects so in, before creating own projects i want to highlight a thing of mini project see whatever you guys have done mini project okay but there is a magazine called electronics for you it is okay it is a um, uh, it is a magazine which you have to pay but that magazine is worth at least in a group if one buys right uh, four people will be benefited because you can read that magazine in 10 or 20 days so how you have to read the magazine is no one will be telling you but i just like to share you how to read electronics for you see electronics for you is uh, just a lot of bits of components there what you have to read is what so if you are interested in circuits you have to go and read in circuit areas if you are interested in some other coding then you have also have a coding session of triple e in that if you are interested in microprocessor then there is a separate section is that how to read is like you you never understand what is it in guys because it is a new technology what i suggest is just take a a4 sheet just read as you read you can you have to make synopsis synopsis is like what you call Uh, making the entire paragraph into three or four words such that you are you will be able to understand if something that is a new word immediately go to google and search it because you will be able to indulge that keyword knowledge and it, it will be very useful for you so once if you are doing like this what happens is you will be able to understand at least one concept very well and it will be very helpful for you in what you call um mini project on project and my suggestion is as a third year students you guys can have time as far as now if you guys start to learn matlab from now also you can learn matlab in just 30 days it's not a big deal or big issue it's see whatever you are drawing in a paper of circuit right the same thing you are going to draw it in a systemized tool only thing is like for something you need to pay but it's up to your will there are few parts of accessories for matlab also but paid version has some more features it up to you what i suggest is first use free version if you are okay if you are able to work on it okay i want to learn if you are interested in to learn more things then you can go for um some minimum 9.9 usd uh, what do you call it paid version there well, in paid version what you have the you have the full access so full access means you can even uh, draw more circuits and analyze for it so these are the basic softwares you guys can use suppose if you are in coding side right some people might be interested in coding in uh, computer science what i suggest is download eclipse or eclipse guys 
in case of java okay in case of python you can directly use a pythonic tool it's not an issue for java students what i suggest is uh, that is a book standard java book which is around for uh, 3500 pages oxford uh, java engineer oxford java book what you do is you just buy the book make a synopsis convert that 3500 pages of book into just 25 pages of a4 sheets 25 pages in a4 sheet that's that is what i'm telling is you need to uh, uh, completely learn that book of java and just write some important keywords and with the explanation that you will be able to learn then in future if you have any doubt you should not open the book you should open only your synopsis for relearning it this is the best way where you can master java see nothing is complicated guys in this current trend only difference is those who know the technologies are at the top those who don't know the basics of technology are still working but not at the top level that's a huge difference in the current scenario of world so next you might ask how to become the subject subject man i told you right how to become an expert so the first thing is logical abilities whatever you whichever field you go whichever area you go the first common principle is you have to have a, a logical ability the logical ability means analyzing and creating a solution for example i just post a question guys i just post a question for one thing um one second so you guys are able to see this right yeah see uh, there is a question like a coin was flipped a thousand times and there was 560 yets do you think whether the coin is biased i just put the question in chat meanwhile you can just think for it and answer me after the session ends it's not a problem but thing is this is like how you are in how you can develop your logical skills because logical skills are one of the important matter so logical skills are important guys because without that it's going to be a big tough in whatever industry like you need to be able to solve puzzles and puzzle solving is not that much tough or easy it depends upon how much you practice even at the age if you are able to solve some quiet puzzles because puzzle solving is similar to the problem of circuit solving puzzle solving is generally solving the puzzle of it circuit solving is like with the help of the circuit knowledge you are able to solve the circuit so same method of appliance can be happen unless until you are solved trying to solve some puzzles next learning the basics as i told earlier i'm going to tell again and again because because the basics are a big thing because basics indelgate or can convert you into a masters in the subject so you guys have to relearn 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 basics even if you're working then problem solving if you have these two then comes uh, you have to apply your logics and whatever you have learned basics into problem solving so problem solving also tends to investigate that whenever you are able to solve the problem right so what do you gain is the confidence like i am able to solve these kinds of circuits or i am able to solve these kinds of computerized puzzle so what you think is okay if i'm able to solve this so this is a particular kind of algorithm so if you are able to solve a big problem and if you are able to break down a problem big problem into a line step by step analysis such that if you get the solution that step by step analysis of thinking is called as an algorithm that's what uh, that's what we call as algorithms for data structure so the same concepts will be used but the thing is how you're going to break the big question into a simplified model so that you get into a solution so if you are able to solve a problem into a stepwise manner then you have a good concept of making or building up your own algorithm for any questions then application 
you have to include logical basics plus problem solving for applications like in any field or any field applications you go the main thing you have to import is main thing you have to import is the applications or how you have to indulge into the application yeah guys i'm just seeing your response to the question i will just come back to the question at the end of my lecture sure so now let's tell like how that how the product is going to happen in an industry so for a birth of the product uh, suppose a new product has to be developed by you or uh, developed by a team first we have to have a deep set of knowledge not only in one domain but in entire domain such that the product is not a malfunctioning one or what you call the product is not said to be a failure in industries whatever you do at the start you are going to have a high reward that's what i tell you for the first two years guys if you work for a minimum 10 hours or 12 hours if from your heart and so you will reap very big rewards in a very short time because you are young bloods right you are very much talented of fast tracking and multitasking which gives you advantage of learning new technology at the grasp of one month so which gives you an added advantage so if you are doing like this repeatedly what you would happen in the same organization is that they will find okay there is a massive change between you as an employer see what happens in an industry i will just explain you you are going to join as an intern in any organization after you become after you complete an intern what they will be having is called as an onboarding the onboarding means you will be taken into any one of their company teams in the company teams what they will be doing is that they will tell you to read every stuff again so once if you tell them at the time i am very much good or aware of it they will keep a test for that if you are very strong at basic what happens is that if you clear the test immediately you won't be at the position of developer you will be at the position of senior developer because the thing is for it actually take a period of one year and six months for uh, for a developer to understand all these basics but in college period if you're able to do this regularly and uh, 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 whatever i told for java if we have the 3500 books read thorough 3500 pages of book read thoroughly then what is a big advantage is that you will have a full clear concept of java even the 10 year experience guy might not have that's a huge advantage for learning the concept correctly then what you will have is you will be indulged into your team and you will be started to develop the project so while developing the project they will analyze like how much you are efficient in making algorithms or making solutions so algorithm means how much short you are using the key so that the time of the entire constraint for example if a, if a time for a given algorithm is to be one minute if you are making the same algorithm and run and the output efficiency with is within 10 seconds you will have the higher credit and by as you are a fresher and if you are able to do this you have a double edge credit that is what a big thing for you big plus for you guys in industry that's why it's just pressures are one of the most important key resources of a company so if you guys utilize those time correctly you can easily climb up the ladder very easily but if you let that time okay i will just enjoy i i've just finished my college i have just come into the company why i need to learn a lot i will be relaxing for three months later i will start working if you have that mindset then you are no way in the race for the competition of higher course guys you are no way in the race because those three months there will be your fellow competitors who might have risen to that level so first impression is always the best impression guys that's a true one because whatever impression you give to your manager is going to be worth for it that's what i suggest is like if you're going on to interviewer and if you're able to convince him that i can work similar to what the senior developer in your company is going to work then the manager will be pleased and he will take 
him you him to his team and he will directly give you that post so it is an added advantage but it is not going to happen very easily because you need to learn right so learning and everything is much but it's up to your confidence guys next implementation so we have a product has to be uh, what you call a product uh, can be developed not only based upon the knowledge how you implement the knowledge in for creating a product because a product is a key feature in the industry so once you have the knowledge and implementation and if you find the solution for a given set of problem then a product is coming so a product means like what you tell all industries or all employees what they think is a, just a common solution for a normal problem is what all the it industries are now doing guys if they are not going and doing research like nasa they are not going to do research like what you call isro or spacex they are just we are just what we are doing is we are just indulging ideas such that whatever the common man faces a problem we are just bringing a solution to that problem so if you identify a common man problem wisely and if you are able to give the solution then the product is going to be a success for that what they expect from you is technology you need to be expertized in a technology technology means like what a domain in whichever field of domain of technology you want to be that you have to have a deep insight of it deep insight means you have to have a good knowledge over the technology whatever you import so if you are going to use this technology for future aspect then what you have to have is like i know this there will be no default from my side or there will be no common error from my side such that these programs can be easily implemented this is the basic thing that you guys need to know next for technology to happen what is the all the four things that you have to be known is for the technology you need to learn the basic if you will know the basic then go for the specialization for example matlab i you guys all triple e right that's why what i suggest is for matlab if you guys know the basics of matlab right then go for advance of matlab advance of matlab is what called image sensing like capturing the two of the image and recording what is the image sensors so that where you compare the two image that is where you called a specialization specialization is like after learning the you know i okay matlab you have circuits you have decoding you have lots of lots of more processor coding you can also have power grids you can have converter coding everything is possible possible in matlab after knowing all the basic what you go is just speak one time i want to go i am very good at circuit solving okay let me go at specialization in circuits let me go at converting the circuits into filters for so how to add filters in the circuits how to do this efficiently so that my output have high efficiency suppose if i uh, like that you can go on for specialization once you have done the specialization what i do is go to one any good company for intern in that domain of technology what you are good at specialized for example if you are done matlab right you can easily go for cement you can easily go for very big companies suppose you can you can you guys can also as plc okay plc is also okay one of a good domain but similar thing what i'm going in plc also there is a varied wide and you have very lot of like logic ladder logic and many other logics are there but my suggestion is that matlab is for one type of domain if for automobile sectors for any other kind of missionary sectors you can go for plc where uh, you can just code into that program where multiple complicated um, actions can be done using it it's very tough but it will be very interesting guys because in many in uh, many industries there will be plc in their machinery line in that machinery line what happen is they will be coded the entire thing like what the entire machine has to be done at what type at what time this motor has to be turned on at what time this motor has to be turned off and what time the cutting has to be done at what time the sensitivity sensors need to be activated so that the entire process will be taking place so that is a some different domain but my if you guys are triple a i just give you th uh, four lanes guys because i am not very good at that technology right now whatever i know i am telling matlab is very good matlab technology then you can go for plc 
auto gear technology for machines and other processed otherwise you also have a grid technology guys grid that is power system grid technologies if you are able to uh, calculate the power system grid technology grid technology means like power uh, i think you have done power system and psos correct if you have done those subjects right power system is one of the tough subject but whatever you learn formulas from it you can just how to use these repeated formulas in big or companies where you have grids of network so you need to solve those grids of network so that there is an uninterrupted power supply so for this you need to know what kinds of things are going to happen these are from the other end the last line is here practical experience like transformers where how kind how to manufacture a transformer how to use this transformer efficiently efficiently then how, what are the different ways to build a new kind of efficient transformers where you can there are many transformer research company in india you can also go and apply for it if you have good knowledge in power supply systems and after you do interns right then for your final year you can just make your own project guys because once you know the basic specialization and you have done an intern in an organization then your final year project is just at your hand because once you have done your simulation right once you have done anything virtually then it's nothing if you, if everything is done correctly in a system and the output is going to come right then you can just go home and just build a circuit with the help of one good uh, staff or one good help so that the entire system is going to work so it creates you more confidence and while going for interview right if you have done your own project it's going to speak high because all the problems what you have faced all the different kinds of or um, what you call it, how you overcome those problems suppose you after done you after you have finished your project what you will feel is that everything is good but sometimes this is not working then you will see okay this is the fault okay i should have not done like this so there is see between the practical and the simulation there is just a small of 10% difference so you need to have the 10% adjustment for yourself if you have done that then that's it guys you are mastered once you are able to create your own one project by yourself then in any organization you enter you have a complete knowledge and you can easily crack down and you can easily reach the greater heights in your life guys that's not a very tough thing unless until you practice or unless until you motivate yourself and unless until you have your own experience you can so this is the best thing that there is a best period where you can invest your time in learning things and creating projects see this is not later this is not the late time because the late time is like when you finish your college still you have one year of time so utilize that one year usefully and correctly so you can have a, what you call very good career ahead because whatever company you go whatever thing that you are going to do at the start is going to speak for you in the 10 or 15 years later that's a right thing so like uh, like i have asked you the previous questions right for the coin is by us see the thing is the simple question is the coin is neither by us or you can't tell it is unbiased the common thing is that you guys are not telling why the coin is by us or why the coin is unbiased i want to know why i just not want to know the answer for you yet the coin is by us or no just tell me why that's it and guys uh, the basic thing is like it's up to you see everyone has a complete capacity to reach greater rights i am not uh, telling that no no this guys does not have thing is you need to identify your exact part where you are strong at see some people might be strong at sports then your domain is to go into your sports area where which sport you are very much good at which kind of activity you are very much good at same thing i am just telling some people might be very much good at coding so you need to do okay once i have done the basics of coding right then what i have to do i have to search in the web okay i have done java next what 
things I have to cover up so that I will be very strong at coding. After you've done Java, what you go? You go for DBMS. After DBMS, what you have to go? You go for uh, machine learning. Machine learning. After machine learning, you go for deep learning. After deep learning, what you go for? You you then go for artificial intelligence. This is a way or path for computer science students. Okay, for not for computer science students who are interested in computer science product domain. There are two types of domains for in company. There are a product IT companies and service IT companies. Product IT companies are those company which use algorithm, data structures, machine learning, and deep learning. Service IT companies also use machine learning and deep learning. But thing is, they use this for serving the products that are developed by the product companies. So there is a huge difference. Huge difference, guys. So it's up to your own thoughts. Like I have to do this at the right manner. Means you have to learn things. So in order to learn things, what you have to do is you have to make time just specific for that. I during this period of time, I will be able to do only these kind of activities. See, there are two beautiful sites for you at the age of college during the college period. See, even now the NPTEL is open, guys. NPTEL is one of the best sites for getting certification from IIT. Well, it will be very tough. I have just did only one course. I honestly tell I have did only one circuit theory course at NPTEL. None other than that I did because once I have done it, I just identified my true concept is computer science. For computer science students, you have to minimum ways. I'm not telling you have to minimum spend around five thousand if you're able to spend on course era and learn. One good course efficiently and get certified, right? You guys will never ever forget that one because the way you learn from that it's something different. There are free courses also. It's up to you. Thing is, you need to learn one technology from the start at the right way with the right guidance, and you need to. Uh, what do you call implement the learned one for example if you join coursera right they will suggest they will says they will teach you the entire course but at the same time they will also tell to learn from this book what you have to use is you have to first buy that book simultaneously they speak you need to take synopsis synopsis is something that is missing in college guys synopsis is like not getting the notes synopsis is like whatever you read from suppose i'm reading a book i'm reading a book of 100 pages i want to make that 100 pages book worth of same content into my own language of 10 page sheets that is 10 pages of my own a4 sheets what i will do is after 10 pages of a4 sheets i will be learning from the 10 pages i will be reading from the 10 pages for 10 days after 10 days i will convert those 10 pages into a single page after that that single page i will be filing it into my file at any point in life if i have any doubt i need to open only that 10 that one page of file from my list so that i will be able to reel on the concept that is how you have to prepare see matlab similarly what i said is see whatever domain you want to go you have to make synopsis synopsis is one of the important thing and toughest thing because see guys as a student i know I also have just crossed that situation, right? Thing is, you have a lot of interest, you have a lot of distractions. But at the end, if you are going to achieve one thing, you have to sacrifice one. Thing. So sacrifice is one thing is like you need to see. You have to have what you call. You have to have that passion. You have to have that hunger to win in the world. As far as now, for you guys, it's a very very tough time. But if you are able to have some positive vibes and like if you are able to do this basic rights you guys i will have a very very good time ahead because this lockdown can be used in a such a manner that all the online courses are at your home and you don't have like more exams you don't have more stress because this is there is this is going to be a, i don't know this month you have one more month time you can utilize this one more one month efficiently like if you are able to work for prasi maximum what i recommend is if you have 6 hours of good sleep is enough for you guys because as i'm working i'm just having just 4 to 5 hours sleep every day but as a student if you are able to have just 6 hours of sleep 
and 12 hours of uh, stuff of learning and another six hours of break that six hours of break means like you can relax you can watch movies you can just do whatever you want so you split 24 hours into 12 hours i need to indulge on learning and another 12 hours i will invest on rest and um, so uh, next 12 hours you just break into six six hours six hours of sleep and next six hours you do whatever you want but that 12 hours is all you have to do is you need to have one six hour continuous study guys i i definitely tell that you need to have one stretch of six hours either from night evening six to night 12 you have one schedule of six hours continuously from evening six to night 12 with an one hour break of eight to nine or nine to ten for lunch you can learn one thing constantly because what i see common thing is when you sit to learn something for your mind to get into that knowledge of learning it takes one hour and 25 minutes so after one hour and 25 minutes of actual learning suppose i'm going to learn some x y z i'm going i'm opening the book i'm just sitting for one hour and 10 minutes I, I, for the first one hour and 10 minutes i'm actually not learning i'm just seeing what is that next from that moment only you will start learning from that moment only you have full concentration okay i have to read this or read that but it's a very tough i i won't say that it is very easy you can't do that but it's a very tough one guys like you have to focus focus for focus you have to do meditation i'm not telling that meditation means sit meditation means is like have a focus concentration on what you learn because whatever you learn for now it's going to speak for you in future so whatever you learn now it's going to be a big backbone for you in the future that's what maximum people will also see so what i suggest is have a clean plan of schedule just for my suggestion or it's up to you just spend how much hour of time of investment of learning from now for at least next uh, year you will see a great rewards guys see i don't care what you have done for all these years and i don't want to know what you're going to do after your college but next one year it's a very important and very crucial lucky time for you if you spend this one year of investment of in learning in whatever technology you do you never know after the college now whichever company you are going to go in you have a very bright future in that company because once you know these basic technologies and other things you will be easily uh, be one of the high end at that company and the company starts to, once the company yet starts to believe on you you get rewards you get promotions not only promotion you get knowledge you get more contacts so if you get more contacts and more people so definitely you have that enthusiasm enthusiasm to work more frequently so indulge that kind of behavior see i know this stage many people will play game or play other thing i'm not stopping you to not to i'm not telling don't play games play games but just fix a target today uh, after uh, okay first six years i have done everything correctly okay now i'm going to take a break of two hours okay that two hours parents please don't do anything i will do at whatever wish whatever i want to do after that two hours make yourself active that for the next six hours until i unless i complete the current target i'm not going to touch my phones i'm not going to touch the remote i am not going to touch any games or anything because this is a period of investment for your future the present investment is what you get as a dividends in future those dividends will not be see whatever i am saying it's like very easy from my point of view but it is not going to be a easy one for you because for me i took nearly my actually i wasted the college first year i i, I just talk, targeted on only college things then during my second year i started to do papers magazines i learned doing papers magazines on mini project only during third year actually i started to learn programming my fourth year uh, my last semester i started to learn more programming once i reached my office that is bny mellon first first three months i learned around eight different domains 
like i learned anglo js i learned spring i love java i learned python i learned hibernate i need to learn all this within a period of 3 months after that the next 3 months what i once i have done my java correctly what like what i told you guys then what i went is i went for deep learning and machine learning after doing all this 3 uh, months of work during december i luckily got a call as uh, as previously said by ushar ali ma'am same thing what i'm telling you see whatever i miss is uh, i actually miss 6 months late of time i should have gone at the end of or uh, august into that organization but what uh, since i was lagging i didn't um, what do you called send a resume for the google during that time so i don't want you guys to do the same mistake once you are out of the college be sure that any company i can go into any top companies because everyone has the capability and everyone has the capacity it's up to you and your thought and your wish guys that's my uh, that's why i'm going to wind it's up to your thought your view and your vision if you want to have some good future you have to have some very or investment time during your next one year if you overcome that or time you are going to have a great future ahead right, guys thank you thank you muddu kumar and uh, there is a question from a participant side uh, yeah, one ma'am. participant has asked that uh, can you suggest some courses for them like in which domain Uh, in I mean, uh, as you said, you can suggest some courses uh, for software field. Yeah, ma'am. Uh, Didn't mention soft- anything about the domain, but yeah, you can uh, right. recommend courses in various domains. Ah, uh, yeah. For software, I recommend you Coursera. In Coursera, you have yeah. uh, one one second, guys. I just I just said the name of the course also. What you have to do in Coursera. One What thing, I have uh, that Kumar, uh, they are very well uh, know about this course here and Udemy, so they yeah. specifically want uh, what courses, what courses they have to prefer uh, to get into a company uh, like you. And Masi Surya Deja is a student who asked this question. Yeah, okay. See, it's not it's not about doing base of courses, guys. Okay, it's uh, see, uh, it is not based upon well, like what courses you are going to do or what courses. i'm going to do it's all based upon what kind of organization you are actually going to uh, indulge upon for, for for example what i suggest is if you are from, from for computer science oriented thing you can go for first java certified you have to you don't need to get certification of java or something you need to know the basics of java okay once you have the basics of java thorough and whatever i suggest there right you need to learn that book thoroughly guys that oxford book of java if you know that book if you have read that book thoroughly for java next what you go is like you go for some back end if you are see if you are going for um, coding side you have two ends like back end and front end front end is angular js html css javascript and so on for that i suggest angular 4 is the current best trend that is going so you can if you are able to learn angular 4 thoroughly you will be very it will be very easy for you in good organization of web development or if you going for the back end you have to uh, know java and python because java or python because anyone it is going to be very useful then what you have to know is your framework like there are many framework struct framework there are hibernate framework where spring framework so the different kind of framework that is not needed for you at the right now but for you you need you can learn after java you just learn data structures data structures after if you, you told okay i am very good at data structures then you go for machine learning after machine learning you have to go for deep learning but machine learn if you want to go for machine learning you have to spend one year of data structures and you need to complete knowledge of data structures on java for minimum of one year and you have to work on major mini you have to use you have to develop main more mini projects on your own once you have done that then you can go for machine learning see as uh, see uh, cracking interview is not that much difficult okay i uh, see uh, interview cracking whatever i told you right see for me uh, actually the round is for me like they didn't ask coding in the google directly at the first round they just asked me to solve puzzles they asked me to see i also conducted one sample interview like playing chess okay 
playing chess with the mind i just gave them a time of 1 hour to learn the chess board thoroughly so after 1 hour of learning the chess board what i did we play the chess in the mind like i will tell the moves in mind they have to tell the moves in their mind so it is how well you are able to um, have your thoughts that is how we actually intake people see we don't want coders we we actually want problem solvers with coders problem solvers means like you need to solve a lot of puzzles not like see for the if you are very for example matrix right uh, everyone know two cross two matrix right in computer science so uh, with two cross two matrix there are n number of plenty of uh, options to be done for example you take uh, two cross uh, you take uh, two dimensional matrix with uh, nine cross nine where each three cross three and uh, divide into four equal parts that is three 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 what you do is you have different colors blue red orange green i'll just try to swap it into some pattern and if i tell one it has to go for this pattern or in, if i tell two it has to go for this pattern like that if you are able to create patterns and understand two dimensional array if you are able to understand the two dimensional array clearly you are going to have a very good time in industry because most of the stealthy operation in the industry is are with two dimensional arrays it may be with letters numbers or anything but it, it is going to have a very big impact so puzzle solving is one of the best thing that you should ever never forget in the life that is what i am telling yeah man next thank you thank you muthu kumar uh, now we shall uh, hand over the thing to session to uh, usharani ma'am uh, to say some yes, to say few words usharani ma'am thank you very much muthu kumar you have elaborately uh, explained everything the students will do during the lockdown period uh, i request all the students kindly whatever you are doing no do free online courses are there in coursera try to complete get the certification and try to implement that as muthu kumar told everything don't waste your time kindly follow uh, take uh, vivekananda course arise awake stop not till the you reach your goal so set the goal towards that you work daily you read that so you know your potential so kindly analyze yourself and do wherever you are standing kindly move upward so in our college uh, management has provided all the training facilities you are attending you are daily attending skill track so you increase your score in everything daily you upgrade yourself okay uh, i especially thank to mr muthu kumar for his busy schedule he has uh, delivered a, a wonderful lecture to you regarding placement how to prepare how to motivate yourself self motivation is the big thing you no need to wait for others to motivate you you tune yourself you know your position for that during lockdown period kindly utilize towards your placement activities you are uh, excelling in academics so you have finished your subjects only you are waiting for your exams so kindly utilize the time properly for your placement activities okay this is my request to all the students i thank all the once again i thank uh, uh muthu kumar uh, on behalf of our management uh, principal sir uh, hod madam and uh, uh, our faculty members especially dhanlakshmi uh, and i on uh, all the faculty members those who have joined here and uh, i thank all of you for this uh, wonderful session ha happened now okay thank you very much for your kind cooperation i once again thank mr muthu kumar uh, thank you very much muthu kumar uh, i thank all the students uh, even though you have yes uh, sir. thank you ma'am uh, it's my it's a pride for me to I thank our own alumni uh, muthu kumar data scientist google thank you muthu kumar and you made this session very lively interactive and i hope that all the participants have enjoyed the session thoroughly I uh, once again I thank you Mr. Muthu Kumar and I also thank uh, participants I also thank participants uh, in spite of your tight schedule of having lot of programs and trainings you have attended this training webinar I thank all the students participants thank you once again and uh, one uh, information that uh, we have provided the feedback form link in the chat box 
So I request all the participants to give the feedback. And thank you once again. Thank you all. Thank you, Mudu Kumar. Dada, uh, ma'am, kindly wind up. Wind up. Mudu Kumar. Yeah, sure, ma'am. Kumar, thank you very much, ma'am. You call. Yeah, sure. Mudu Kumar, thank you, ma'am. Mudu Kumar. Yeah, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Mudu Kumar, this is Jayodhi, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Mm, okay, uh, you have given a wonderful session. So I think all students are motivated from your speech. Once again, yeah, I, I will convey my sincere thanks, ma. Thank you. Okay, ma'am. Okay. Hello, Muthu Kumar. Ma ah, yes, ma'am. Uh, Muthu Kumar, this is Sumitra, ma'am. Thank you for your motivational speech. Definitely, it will reach your minds of the students, ma. Definitely, they will uh, gain something from your motivational speech. They will carry over throughout the end, ma. Thank you. Thank you, once again. Thank you, Sumitra, ma'am. I thank all. Uh, we thank once again, uh, Muthu Kumar, Usharani, ma'am, Devdya, ma'am, Sumitra, ma'am, and all the faculty, the HOD, ma'am. I thank everyone. Uh, now I think it's the time for us to end the session. Uh, we'll wind up. Thank you. Okay.